Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have a couple of things that I want to do today because I have a couple of piles stacked up. So first, I want to go into a little bit of drugstore, a little bit of color, color pop, color pop, because they are basically drugstore price. They're just an online brand. So I want to say YouTube made me buy it. So I bought the Milani um, eyeshadow palettes because I wanted to try them and see um, how they were. I got the Milani Everyday Plum Basics, and that is wearing what I'm wearing on my lids today. And I have been testing um, this one, the Milani Must Have Metallics in every Everyday Eyes. So um, good and bad. There, I really like the plum one because it was really good to have um, a crease color, um, a darker shade and then I put covered purple, covered my lid with purple and then put the um, lighter on my inner corner and so it was really good to have the whole palette where you could do just everything done, bam, laid out for you, easy peasy, awesome. The metallics are a little, okay so they're really good but they're a little flakier than I would like, a little chunkier than I would like and have a little fallout. So I would say I like the matte colors way better. So when I was using the metallic ones, I had used this one first. And that is what I saw is the, oh my god, it's so out, hard to open. So when you do it, can you see like the, the chunk, like super pigmented. Really nice, nice to blend out. But whenever like it's kind of it's kind of chunky when you you can't really see it on on the the screen, but it's like chunky and you have to like blend it out or make sure you do your the rest of your makeup later because it will fall out. So these are twelve I want to say twelve eleven twelve dollars maybe eight dollars. We're gonna go from somewhere to eight twelve dollar range, and whereas they're really good drugstore brands, they still have their little kinks and stuff. So. Um, just take that with a grain of salt. They're good. They're not. I mean, I've had like expensive palettes that don't do as good as these. So for a drugstore buy, they are actually really not bad. I really like the plum ones. I'm really happy I got that one. Then I also got a Physicians Formula Healthy Velvet Lip. So this doesn't dry down as a matte matte lip. It's really pretty basic. It has a little applicator with the little dot in it or the little dot the little hole so you can have more um, product and then it just it's light it's creamy it's very comfortable on the lips it really is it doesn't last a super long time but it lasts pretty long it doesn't have a big smell no not at all I mean if anything like slightly bubble gum slightly very slightly but it's I really like it and it doesn't dry my lips or make me feel crinkly or crappy. I like it. So Physician Formula did not bad on this, but it's like a lipstick. So like, like a liquid lipstick, but not a liquid to matte lipstick. That's why it's velvet lips. So that one was good. Um, and then I got some new ColourPop lipsticks. So I got, I went ahead and got Gallup, which is what I was missing from, um, last time I tried to buy them and silly me I got so crazy which I already have but oh well six bucks seven bucks seven bucks yeah I'm back up and then I also got three shades or two shades from their butterfly collection I actually got three because I also got a a lip one that I was using today I got two well three from their butterfly collection um super cute packaging in their boxes um I'm put them away because I'm horrible about boxes but um the um lippy stick still has the still has a butterfly print on the actual lippy stick these still have the same stars but they are all new colors so we have I mean, you might as well swatch them right why not on my lips Ooh, let's see how my skin is. Don't look at my skin. Just look at the lips. Really, really, really. Let's watch it. Right next to that Physicians Formula, which very well 
Might be a slight dupe or I'm into the same color family. Right there, look at that. That's the physician's formula. And that is the ink blot for ColourPop. So that is like too funny. I mean, this one has a slightly pinker undertone. Pretty, pretty darn similar. Light peach. I mean, it's really light on me. I'm not, I'm not mad at it because if I do with like a super dramatic eye, I'm be like, oh yeah, cool. But um, it does look different in this light compared to daylight. So I don't mind it. And carousel is right there. I'll put that in and then I'll show you. So uh, carousel. Look at that. Super easy to apply. Still super light. Kind of like a brownie nude brownie that's really pretty so if we show it on my hand do, do, do get it so carousels are here so it's more peachy and this is more purpley last one I have is Gallop which is from the first release and I really wanted it and so I got it Very, very red. Very pretty. Look at that. Dark red. I actually thought it was going to be more of a nude red, like how, um... Mom. Ring the doorbell. My dog's going crazy. He's trying to, somebody trying to sell something, so I'm like... <sighs> Alright. On with it. So Gallop is really, really pretty. Really pretty red. Um, wearable. Looks good on me. Actually looks good if I had my face like done, but... Oh well, so there's two more things that I got. That was a yellow is the tone of the season. So I got this NYX Butterscotch Caramel. Let's see, oh yeah, look at that. Mustardy yellow, bright yellow. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited to use that. So I got that because it was super fun and I wanted to do something yellow, but it's really, really nice pigmented. And then I also got the NYX Vivid Bright. So I hadn't used these. I'm not, when I use liquid liners, I use like these. Like the Ciate, like they open, it guides you. So it's not like the brush because I feel like the brush, I just, I'm just so like not good at it to like do a line on my eye. I mean, it's a great color. I like Colors are so nice. What I ended up doing is doing a liner, which made my eyes brighter than I'm used to them being, but it was fun. And I made a wing. It wasn't the greatest of wings, but it was really, it was really cute. And then what I really liked doing was putting mascara on my eyes and then using this to go over the mascara to give it like a pop of color and have like yellow eyelashes. So it was really, really cool. I kept feeling like I had stuff on my eyelashes, like they were too heavy or too like bulky. But other than that, it was a really cool look and I really liked it. So I might go back and get some other ones just to put it on my lashes because it lasted all day. It wasn't hard to take off and it was it was really fun edgy kind of look. But yeah, that is what I have from the drugstore that I have to show you that I've been testing and trying and that I was excited to get the new collections. Um even though Milani is old stuff, but I feel like, why not tell you that it's good? I wanted to try it too. Uh, there's That way I have some drugstore, some name brand, and dabble in a little bit of both and see if I can do any dupe look. Anyway, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching and um, bearing with me. I know I look like a hot mess. That's just what happens. Um, it's so hot here. Today it was like so cold and rainy and misty this morning and then it was like boom 2 o'clock hit and it was hot and muggy and gross and my hair fell flat and I tried not to put on a lot of or any, like any makeup but like eye makeup and lipstick because I teach uh, uh, body flow classes at a gym so I I don't want to get all gross so I like goes I'm not one of those horrible I am one of those horrible people that go kind of semi glammed out to um <laughs> to work out because I'm like I can't look gross I'm in front of people reason why I'm not super glammed out but hey it's normal I bet you're probably looking watching this and you're probably normal too so we're all good here it's a safe space thank you for watching subscribe if you like it thanks guys have a good day bye